how is it possible that everybody's cheering at this game on Friday night for this Luke Heimlich guy that plays at Oregon State? you got to be kidding me. Uh, he was cheered by the crowd at Goss Stadium when he was announced with the rest of his Beaver teammates in pregame introductions. Uh, according to the Oregonian, the 21-year-old had to register as a sex offender after arriving at the university stemming from a guilty plea in 2012 when he admitted to sexually molesting a six-year-old female family member in Washington when he was 15. The Oregonian was doing a routine background check on him for a feature story, and they discovered he was cited for failing to update his sex offender registration status in April. The athletic director would not say when the school knew he was a registered sex offender. And a spokesman for the university told the newspaper that it receives lists of offenders from the Oregon State Police on a regular basis and then checks those names against its student uh, database. Um, they say that that information is for their ears only and educationally need to know basis only. Uh, the left-hander uh, is the number one player on the team. Uh, they're the number one seed in the NCAA tournament. He was 11-1 with a 0 0.75 ERA. That's why they're cheering him. I know they're not cheering him for being a, a sex offender. I know they're not cheering him for molesting his six-year-old family member when he was 15. Uh, maybe they're just cheering him because he was stupid when he was 15 and did something heinous and has to live with it for the rest of his life. Uh, maybe they're cheering him because he's going to be an early round pick in the Major League Draft next week, allegedly. He's ranked number 43 overall in Baseball America in terms of prospects. That means he's going to be rich. Now that the story's broke, that may change everything. He may go late rounds now. We'll see if that bothers Major League teams, what he did when he was 15. He's a hell of a pitcher, but he sounds like when he was 15, he was a demented kid. And somehow got away with it. And they wanted to bury that story, but it didn't work. I guarantee you that school knew he was a sex offender. They just didn't want anyone to know. And they wanted to put it under the rug.